What's happening, folks? It's your guy Rashad. I'm back again. Another follow me to work day in the life of a food truck owner, bar owner, restaurant tour. I appreciate y'all tuning in to watch another video. If you like these or you're new to the channel, please uh, hit the subscribe and the like button. That'll be very helpful. I appreciate it. Uh, holler at me in the comments too. If there's stuff you want to see, any particular questions you have on any of these topics, get at me. Uh, I appreciate it. Did I say subscribe to the channel? Did I say that already? Subscribe to the channel too, in case I didn't say that. <laughs> um, this video is, what we we'll titled this one. This one is Mother's Day. Yay for mothers. We love mothers, especially the good ones. The kick-ass, legendary mothers. Those are our favorite. Trifling ones, that's a whole nother video. I'll have another video for that one. <laughs> but uh, this was life before the action food truck. We did exist as a bar um, for years before we introduced our first food truck. The food truck was being built at the time. So this is a food truck related video because it takes you back to, you're gonna have a little downtime before your truck gets here and there's a lot of work to get done during that time. So it's not like an actual day on the food truck or we're cleaning it or we're doing a service, but it's very much food truck related. Uh, just the whole, um, the process of menu development. And that's kind of what this video is a little bit about. So my mom does the sweet treats for our food truck. Technically, she started her own small business doing sweet treats, and we are her number one customer. So right now, she has an exclusive deal with us where uh, she provides all of the sweets for our food truck and for the bar. Uh, when it comes to menu development, whether it's your menu development for your food truck or your restaurant or your new starting small business where you're doing baked goods, my little suggestion is to... Uh, can't try to do everything. We say it all the time around our bars, pick a lane and kind of stay in your lane. My mom has, I mean, dozens of recipes for amazing sweets, carrot cake, um, uh, cupcakes, chocolate chip cookies, uh, banana bread. I mean, I could get you a know, coconut cream pie. I could keep going. She like literally has dozens of amazing sweets, but her first year of operation, we wanted to make sure that we had a real narrow product line so she didn't have to try to do everything. So then you don't have to inventory everything. You don't have to try to develop systems and everything can stay very consistent if you have a real small menu. So her menu is just about four items the first year but we were working out a lot of them before the truck got here and that's what this video kind of captured a little bit of that day it happened to be mother's day as well too so this is just a real mom's focused video right here but she's one of our partners and my uh, longest fan so uh it's fitting she get her own video anyways and i'm a mama's boy so i mean let's just be real okay of course i gotta show my mom some love um <laughs> but uh, like I said, we pick a, a a few of the items that we knew were, you know, we thought would go good with what we were offering, would work well on the truck. And so we tried a lot of recipes before we settled on what the first, the first year, a couple items we had, which were cookies and some uh, chocolate Rice Krispie treats. But we, I ate everything. I mean, for like, oh pretty much a year straight she was sampling stuff in her lab the same way that we were sampling stuff at the kitchen as far as our our brisket mac and our rubs and our sauces and our sides um the way that we were in the lab kind of dialing ours in and perfecting ours she was doing the same thing um on the dessert front so it's no wonder i gained like 50 pounds that year while we were developing the menu because I was taking home sweets from mom two and three times a week and eating smoked meats like seven days a week at the bar. So uh, <laughs> it was fantastic. And this was just one of those days. Went to go see mom, got to spend some time with her. Plus I got to come home with a coconut cream pie and 
cookies and sweet potato pie and pecan pie. And so <laughs> always good times. Like I said, I think if I had my pro tip is that little piece of advice to just pick a lane and then just stay in your lane. You're going to be tempted to try and do everything. And then all of these ideas are going to be great. Everyone's going to have a great idea of a menu item, but I think you want to really simplify things as you're getting getting your feet underneath you. The less things you have to do, the better. And a lot of experts will say when you're doing menu development and when you're creating your menu that you want to have a menu that goes deep. You don't necessarily want to have a wide one. You want to stay in your lane and then within your lane, drill down and have as many items that are, you know, common to your theme and common to your lane trunk rather than trying to do everything, you know, because you can't be a jack of all trades in this industry typically, unless that's your concept and you're amazing at a bunch of different trades. <laughs> but um, for me, and I also believe for most beginners getting started, I think it's easier to just simplify things. So that's the pro tip. Simplify things, pick a lane, stay in it. Don't try to do everything. You're not going to be able to. So. All right, heading over to mom's house, uh, got a ton of stuff to drop off, a bunch of her cooking stuff, all the sweets she sends us home with uh, pretty much every freaking week, uh, got to have her containers back, so of course I'm dressed like it's uh, middle of winter, even though it's May. That's the Northwest for you. Sun just came out as soon as I hit record. I promise, because it's cold as shit out here. Uh, so I'm still in beanie and hoodie weather. But uh, yeah, we're going to go see what mama up to and uh, give her hugs and love and uh, drop off some goodies, pick up some more treats. She's working on a coconut cream pie, sweet potato pie. I mean, she's not working on them. She's been perfecting them. But um, she's just working on kind of tweaking the recipe so we can possibly have some seasonal stuff to have on the food truck so uh you know just supporting local woman-owned business you know working together with the another small business trying to you know do some things we just happen to be in the same family too so that's even more better but uh all right i'm out i'll see y'all there Santa, Mom. I'm good. All these fathead kids, all these grandkids. Uh, no sense on them fathead kids. Yeah, buddy. funny. Always something that makes me giggle when I come by Nana's house. You know, she don't like being on camera, but we gotta say, hey, it's mom's day. You know what I mean? She is number one fan. Huh? Say hey, mom. Hey. You get in there, too. <laughs> get in there, too. Yeah, number one fan right here. All day. Gotta love it. All the plants, all the flowers. You know, gotta love coming by mama's house. Got to love that. Got to pull out and dip for moms. And all of a sudden, a familiar car pulled up. I know. What up, man? What's going on, man? <laughs> Chillin'. <laughs> oh, chillin'. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Say what up, Mark. Hey, what's going down? Yeah. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. That's how we doing it. Well, you know that happens sometimes. You know, you come by mom's crib, 
to say what's up and then you run into more fam on that's the it. way that's so it. uh i'm about to head back to the spot uh i'll see you guys back at the bar bar you heading in the bar tonight yes, sir. he's working tonight, working tonight. so see come you. on through get that money that's it. <laughs> yeah so that's how it be let me turn that down bang uh stop by mom's got all the goodies uh got me a sweet potato pie got me a coconut cream pie uh, she even bagged me dinner for tonight, too. What? What? Is it my birthday? No. That's just how it be on Sundays. Uh, oh, also Mother's Day. Yeah. Uh, also was on the way out. Ran into my brother, a.k.a. our facilities manager. Handles all the uh, maintenance of pretty much everything that we've got at the bar. You're forever going to be fixing shit in bar ownership. It's just a guarantee. So, lucky I got a handyman slash brother slash uh partner to handle that so uh get that list together man if you don't got one uh you need a list of tradesmen as soon as you open a bar or a truck so get on that shit anyways uh, about to dip head back to the pad get something to eat sample all these goodies and then uh back to work uh i'm off today technically but uh i gotta clear out some room for storage we're moving three big tables back into the bar this week um plus uh like i said we got to finish up that app final proofread on the website and start planning the grand opening and our three-year anniversary at the bar so day off but plenty of shit to do at the house so i'm gonna get at it all right y'all Potato. I can tell you, based on the samples I already had, fucking delicious. Fucking delicious. So these might be seasonal pies that we do in individual pie tins off the off of the truck too. So that might be going down like that. Oh, what? And the flowers are still here? Yup. Yup. Boom. Boom. I get asked what is my favorite thing about being a business owner? probably more than any question and i would say what i like most about it is also the most challenging part of it and that is i get to work with family and loved ones um it is by far my favorite thing about it being able to work shifts with my brothers either behind the bar or on the truck or at events um you know cool concerts you know Seahawk events to be able to have my family involved and right there with me, uh, you know, my kids, my lady, you know, my mama, all real, real nearby is a very uh, cool experience for me. Definitely my favorite part about it. Also, by far the hardest part because, you know, within those relationships and dynamics, there's, you know, it can be complicated. I don't want to be anybody's boss of any of those people. I just, I named my loved ones. I don't want to be boss, but that's my job. And so sometimes that dynamic can be hard. Uh, it can be challenging, but I think it's always worth it because uh, it, the reward side of it is just so cool to be able to share this with people you love. So uh, it is my absolute joy to be my mother's um number one customer, uh, her most consistent customer, her, you know, biggest hype person, because what makes this rewarding is for everybody to win. I'm extremely excited when I see my team in general winning, employees, staff, um, you know, people in my sphere of influence, friends. I love to see people winning because um, I want to win and it just makes it more makes it more better makes it more better when uh <laughs> everyone is winning so you know when everybody gets to eat is when it's gratifying and super uh satisfying for me so uh yeah we will continue to i'll continue to work with my family wherever i can wherever my businesses can support my family and loved ones i want that buying power to go that way 
and we'll do it for sure. I got a, you know, a nephew who's in the music game. His music is on a lot of these YouTube videos. I appreciate that. Want to get his name out there. Want him to win too. You know, got a nephew who's a professional commercial painter. Looking forward to working with him in the future on projects. Uh, you know, I, my kid working with social media and the things he's doing right now, really both of them, <laughs> the way, what they have going on with their, uh, you know, college and plans for career, I'm going to be their biggest supporter. And, you know, they know that they're going to be able to have a client in me right off top. So, um, it, you know, that's, that's how I get down. I feel like it's just more fun when everybody's winning. So, 